Let's write the formula for iodic acid. So the first thing is when we look at acids in general, acids are going to begin with H. So we can just put an H here in front of our iodic acid. Next, when we look at iodic acid, we don't see the term hydro in front. So it's not going to be two elements. We're going to have three elements and it'll involve a polyatomic ion. We'll look at the stem. That's the IOD and then the ending IC. So stem plus IC, we're going to use these guidelines to write the formula for iodic acid. First, we'll write the ion, the stem, IOD, and then we're going to replace this ick up here, right here, we're going to replace that with ATE. So we end up with the iodate ion, and we can look this up on a table of ions. My periodic table doesn't have the iodate ion, so I just looked that up on the web. The iodate ion is IO3 minus. So far we have this HIO3 as the formula for iodic acid, but we need to balance the charges. So hydrogen on the periodic table, that's in group one, that's going to be one plus. We know that the iodate ion, the whole thing here is one minus. So the plus and the minus, they balance out. And this is the formula for iodic acid, HIO3. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.